Hey everybody, Shabu here, We're back from another video, and today I will be showing you how to make teleporters in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have your teleporters, click on them and rename them. If you don't have Explorer and Properties open, go to View and select these. Now once you have clicked on one, you want to go to Properties and change its name to Pad 1. Do the same for the other one, but this time rename it to Pad 2. Now we're going to go to Explore, right click it, Insert Object, and then Insert a Script. Now we can start scripting. We're going to delete this because we don't need this. Now I'm going to set some variables. So local pad1 equals script.parent because the pad1 goes from the script to the parent, which is the pad. Then local pad2 equals workspace wait for child pad2. So it's going to go to workspace. It's going to wait until this is loaded in, and then that will be the variable. Now we're going to set a cooldown. So local cooldown equals, I'm going to do one second, so you don't teleport back and forth in half a second. Now we're going to start scripting the functions. So pad1.touched, connect function, hit, like, like this. Then local humanoid equals hit.parent, find first child, which is a humanoid. So whatever touched it, it'll go from that to the parent, which should be the character. And then it'll find the humanoid. Then local root equals hit.parent, find first child, humanoid root part. This is basically just the center of the character. If humanoid and root and humanoid.health is greater than zero. And then we're going to set another variable. Rule D bounce equals true. This is for the cooldown. I'm going to put if D bounce, then D bounce equals false. So it can't just spam it. And then we're going to teleport it to the other pad, which should be pad two. So we're going to do root.parent move to pad2.position. So it'll move the character from pad1 to pad2. Then we'll do task.wait cooldown. So it'll wait how long you put the number here. So it'll wait one second. Then debounce equals true. Now if you click play, whenever we touch pad1, it'll teleport us to pad2. If you want them to go back, so I'm just going to click stop here. If you want them to be able to go back, we can just copy this by highlighting all of it and then either right clicking it and pressing copy or using the shortcut control C. Press enter a couple times at the end of here and then paste it by either right clicking and pressing this or pressing control V and then change the names, so pad2 and pad1. So now if this is touched, it'll teleport them to pad1, and if this is touched, it'll teleport this them to pad2. Now if we click play, you should be able to teleport back and forth. And that's how you make a teleporter in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace.